Hey guys, welcome to the Vinsire, my first ever video on a Blender tutorial. I'll be using Blender version 2.75a for this. Now what I'm going to be doing in this tutorial is designing an eye and doing it under the cycles render in here. The very first thing I'm going to do is turn on screencast keys so you can see exactly what is going on just in case I go too fast or you want to look back and see the keys that were pressed. Next thing I will do is go up to Blender Render and set it to Cycles since that is what we will be using. And then delete the cube. Shift A to add a UV sphere mesh and rotate this on the X axis by 90 and hit zero. Hit one, <laughs> not zero. The next thing we will do is smooth this out for the shading. So we don't have to worry about that later. Hit tab to start up the edit. Now the first thing we want to add is the actual iris itself. To do this, find a spot where you want to add a new actual mesh line. And Alt R, click on it and get it as close to the edge of the next one as you can. Then click and set it in there. Then hit Control E to mark a seam. Now next we are going to be adding the pupil itself. You can either select a already existing mesh line or you can create a new one again like that and just leave it there. And once again Control E and mark a seam. Now we are going to add one more seam to this, so you hit 3 on the number pad and alt right click and select the very middle line itself, then control E, mark a seam. That just gets that out of the way pretty easily. So next you are going to select the very center, control plus on the number pad until you get out to the end of the iris seam itself and we are going to make a duplicate so shift D right click or hit enter then H to hide that and we'll get back to that later again select the center go to the outer iris rotate the camera slightly and pull this back on the Y axis to get the indent into the actual eye now this part where pretty much almost done with. So now we're going to unwrap this by selecting it all and hitting U and click unwrap. And we're going to drag down from the top or from the right to left however which way you want to do it to get another 3D view and we're going to switch that new one over to UV image editor. Now in here you'll see there's the outer sections of the eye, the iris, and the pupil. And what you're going to want to do is move the iris and the pupil. Right click on one of these and hit L. And it'll select the whole thing and hit G and move it over to where you want it to be. And do the same with the pupil or the iris, whichever one you decided to move second then we are going to click to create a new image you can name it whatever you want and of course change the resolution to whatever you want once that is done hit OK and now we can actually paint this go to view and paint hit T if the options are not available Set it uh, to however you wish the outer part of the eye to look and uh, just color it in. And select the color you want for the iris itself and just color it in. You are going to want to use an actual light color for this and you will find out why in just a couple minutes.
Now with that, it's all done unless for some reason you want the pupil a different color. And we could just whoops, get rid of that. You don't need the uh, top section anymore. And we are going over to materials. Add a new one. Now, this is very important. If you hadn't already set this to cycles render, when you do it, you're going to have to click use nodes when you switch it over. And under color, you're going to select the bullet image texture and I and you're going to click assign you can check it out by going to the viewport and going to material and there's the basis of the eye itself now you will do alt H to bring this lens back and you will drag that lens into the eye so that it's not just hanging out there so you can see out, out of the sides and we will add a new material. This one will be glass. Roughness I like to put at 0 0.05 and indent of refraction to 1.2. Between 1.2 and 1.3 in general is how I like how it looks. So you can hit A to deselect and tab to go back into object mode because so now we need the light, a light source we can just bring this over and drag it down now with it as such take it go into rendered oh I always forget that select the eye Select the lens and make sure you assign the material. I don't know why I always forget that, but I just seem to do it. And there you go. You have a basic eye with a lens that actually shines and looks pretty nice. You can see why you want a bright color though. It's more this because if you don't have a bright color, it'll be way too dark overall. I mean, I've seen some things where you could add mix shader instead with emissions, but I don't like that. It just seems to seem a little off to me, a little too bright or something like that, but you could always mess with that if you would like to. But in general, this is how I make my eyes. I hope you like it, and I hope this helps somebody out there. Like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and let me know what you think in the comments below. And thank you very much for watching this first video that I've done on Blender, and I hope to bring many more.